Thanks. Also, would you do me a favor? Let me use your radio a second. Mm -mm, don't do that. <laughs> it's over. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with Intel, and we are getting ready to watch Silo episode eight. Yeah, man, some of our favorite buried people. All right, without any further ado, <laughs> let's get started. The cornfield, the garden. That was much further. You said you'd be on time. Uh oh. Is that Julia's mama? My daughter can keep a secret. Unless you'd rather I find another taker for these. Oh. You get caught. I'm gonna say you found it. No one's getting caught. Don't be so sure. Relic. Silo always wins. Sound like Vegas. <laughs> no matter what you do, Vegas is gonna come out on top. Random stuff in a cornfield. It feels like that would be like a meetup spot in a gangster I can movie. Pay it. Okay. You call me a rabbit? Oh my gosh. We're not gonna eat it. No. We're not gonna eat it. It's barely moving. I think it's sick. That's the point, Bean. Huh. No, they're long gone. They got the information to dip. Hey, but she's like a public enemy number one right now. We're not looking for a baby. Oh, or not. Won't be much longer. Well, and I need to sleep. I know. <laughs> Stay in here. Miss Hildebrand. Mm, look who showed up. I hope you'll be more cooperative with me, Gloria. Mm. You are the security man. <laughs> the man in black. Folic acid. That's it. One drop in her tea every night. Did it work? Boy, it turns six next month. Oh. Okay. You send an old woman out to clean? No. I'll leave in this room unmedicated to spend the rest of our days staring at these walls. Ooh. Julia Nichols paid you a visit. Took something out of that vent. I need to know what that was. Just be like, yeah, I was doped up. Did Sheriff Holston hide it in there? Yes. What was inside the bag? All oh, this for a book. Ugh. I think I remember the Book of Eli. I think that's what it was called. And you know, Thank there's you, a. Thank you, Brad. For this. Mm, he's so serious. Oh, the payoff in the end is the book is super important. It was, you know, kind of like how it is in this. Oh, last, last, th last, uh, lucid thought before you go under. All right, old lady, you did your thing. Sarah coverage gets pretty spotty below medical. When you find her secure, she has a red level relic. Tell your team nobody touches. Yes, sir. Dang, they're not even supposed to look at it. <laughs> I'm gonna find it and sew it up. How are you gonna see it? Hmm. With this. All right, bring him over. His mama was an her mama was an inventor too. It's impressive. You want to see his heart? Come on. Then. God, I love science. It's the first one in the silo. It makes tiny things appear big. And if this works, we can use it to help other people. Your mama was awesome. What is it, Billings? You need to come to the office. Uh-oh. Hey, you the sheriff. Putting out fires is what you do. Hey! Take it easy, Howie. You realize this is a blatant violation of the pact, right? Law enforcement premises cannot be searched without extreme probable cause. Hmm. They don't care about that. Rules are only for certain people, not everybody. <laughs> Make sure you check under the floor. Just going to tear their whole family home up. All I, all I want is to stop other families from going through the same thing. I don't think I felt lost. Mm. I'm sure there's something in our pact about reporting your family. How can we even suggest that? How else could they have known? Wow. Stop! I'll give it to you. Stand down. I know she feels all the way let down. No! <laughs> God, savages. We ate the meat, composted the rest. 
The judicial department thanks you for your time and your cooperation. Jerk. Hate people like that. Oh. People terrified of change. Just terrified. I swear to you, I didn't. Awesome. It's okay. You didn't have her back, man. There. You happy, asshole? You'll be all in. They love their work. And you used to work with these people? I was in administration, not one of these overcompensating fuckwads. Damn, they trashed your whole spot. She signed the warrant. No, when I was there, something didn't feel right. I don't think she's the one calling the shots. Not at all. They skipped about 10 steps. There should have been an initial notice, a request for evidence. You're coming with me to judicial. To do oh, what? Man. Make a complaint. <laughs> what, are we making up crimes now? Deputy Billings? Mm -hmm. Section 14, subsection 3, paragraph 12. Kill, Kill him with the law. search and seizure. Section 23, subsection 19. Kill him with the law. Miss Nichols, I had nothing to do with that search. Your order. agents mm -hmm. broke protocol, and I'm holding you responsible. Wow. You didn't like it, you can take it up with Meadows. Cuff him and take him upstairs. Oh, we 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 flexing. Everybody flexing. Do this. Nah, I don't want well, to, but do with it. she's my job. Boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. And that's the dude you want to select to the sheriff. Realize hey, you might not have as much control you as you thought. Join your boss in jail. I've got more cuffs. Uh huh. You'll regret this. I doubt that. Use the law. Oh, are oh, we gonna take all your stuff? <laughs> and then she goes right to breaking the law herself. <laughs> oh, the law is so subjective. Where he stores the relics is behind the janitor's closet, though. So I don't think she's gonna find anything of real. Importance, maybe? Whose files are those? Can't really see. Walker, Martha Walker, Hannah Nichols. It's your mama's rap sheet. I bet she was a full blown oath, not oath keeper, flame, flame bearer, torch. Ah, oh, golly. The hardest is running into that father and mother in the years after and seeing what it's done to them. Mm. I spent a lot more time in here when I should have been there for you and your mother. I'll always regret that. Mm. Judicial. When they came into our home, I should have done something besides bowing to their will. That's what she wanted. She wanted you to have her back. When those agents crushed her machine, they crushed her spirit, and I tried to bring her back. Oh. She didn't want to listen to me. Mm. I failed her. That's why I left you in mechanical. Oh, wow. I knew that down there, you could put your talent into fixing real things in front of you instead of chasing impossible answers like your mother did. Mm. She's Here about to chase the impossible answers. Yeah. Her fate. That's her destiny right now. What do you mean? They, they have their own cameras. That's, and they listen not just with partners and other people. They have devices. That's how they knew about the magnifier. That's how they know everything. Mm. She never believed me. I know. I know. I do. Oh, oh just wanted his little, just wanted his little thing back. Want his baby back. Want your daughter back. Sorry. The things you do for love. Oh. Sorry to interrupt. It's okay. Maintenance is here. Uh -oh. What for? Something about checking the vents. He's very insistent. Did you send for a work order? No. Did you? No. They know. They require some authorization. I'm going to take it to walk. If anyone can get around it, she can. Could you put her in danger, but Walt can't crack it. Walker can. Can't you get them to speed this up? If I'm late for my next job, I'm late for everyone after. Sure, I'll look into it. They're checking everything. Hey, Jerry. Yes, sir. Could I trouble you for a cup of coffee? <laughs> He's your boss, man. You know, it's like, <laughs> what do you, you do in that situation? Black, no sugar, no cream. <laughs> of course. I wouldn't expect anything less. Thanks. Also, could you do me a favor? Let me use your radio a second. 
Mm-mm. Don't do that. <laughs> it's helpful. Sir, just like, one I, just, I, I just, I really think we need to wait until someone gets back. You gonna break. You gonna break. Yeah, you're right. I understand. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, is the twitching gonna start? Yeah. Sorry, I just... Don't be. I'll get it later. The tremors have gotten worse since you went upstairs. I'm fine. Stress. <laughs> People are saying she's laying the groundwork for another rebellion. Dang. Everything that's been happening, all these deaths in a week, it's not normal. If you're worried about me... I am. Clearly, the stress is making it worse. She's got a point. You see it? I see a W. Might have answers to the W. Okay. I don't know how to... I don't know when it comes to him. Uh, friend of foe is hard to know. He's such a mystery. Okay, I don't understand what you... No, I've got this. An old hard drive? And I need to get into it, but it requires some kind of authorization I don't have. <laughs> okay. Because you need to take it up to your workplace computer. No. Mm. I can't go there. Um, is there any way that you can work around it? Please? Man, you give me a lot of information. Clean what happened to George, why Johnson Marnes were killed. They were... Sorry, they were... What yeah, they were murdered. Um, <laughs> why and... Why are you trusting me with this information? Look at this. A sensor. A camera. This is how they look at us. This is how they control us. Dang. Just, all right, <laughs> let's just look behind the curtain right now. Even if I could, my mom, I'm the Your only mom? one. Yes, I'm the only one. Mm -hmm. Time's up. You better leave too, for your mom's sake. Yeah, you Should dropped all that on him like in two minutes. <laughs> you gotta look, you can't be mad at the fact that he's pausing. <laughs> and she is out, which means you need to be out, my guy. Yep. Saw for yourself. It's real. Are you kidding me? Whoever they are, they won't be pleased. This is your sheriff, and she's with me. But. Oh, now you're questioning the mayor, too. Ooh. Robert is so by the book. I can't talk here. I know a place. Okay. So walk. All right. We back to the cornfield where, where it started, huh? Control the silo? Cover up a crime? I don't know. Whatever it is, he wants me gone. And after you, me. I never wanted this fucking job. <laughs> what are they looking for? Have free liquor. What do you have that's so threatening? I, I, I mm. know what you're talking about. Yeah. Julia, mm -hmm. there isn't much time left. If you have the hard drive, then... Well, fuck me. You do. Is it hard drive? Yep. How would I know there's a hard drive? Wow. Oh, shady. Oh. You, you were the one. Hmm. No, 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 I didn't. I distinctly heard you say you want to go outside. Robert, did you hear that? Sure Ooh. did. Dang. That's two sheriffs in as many weeks. What is it about being a sheriff these days? <laughs> Meadows isn't afraid of him. She, she's afraid of you. I mean, he controls the whole network. A person that possesses the knowledge, the intelligence, the information about everything that happens here. Lucky me. Mm. All those people, I don't, I don't understand. This Nichols, throughout our entire existence, problems have arisen. Okay. The needs of the many require the sacrifices. Timmy, why'd you set a hard drive like this? Fucking heat. This isn't about heat. <sighs> about survival, and that hard drive threatens the lives of everyone in this silo. Oh, how many people are out there? Our home in 140 years. Well, your work. Knees to chest, baby. Knees to chest. She been working with machines, heavy machinery. She probably toss y'all little lads. Uh. 
Hey, she, she put up a good fight. You know why they're not. They're cowards. That's not... She died of a heart attack that I'll be here. Hmm. They're cowards. So is she. Jules. I told you you regret arresting me. Mm, mm, mm. No, it doesn't make any sense. She was on her way here. Who were the witnesses? The mayor, some judicial raiders. Mm. Knox said they'd eventually punish us for the rebellion. I always thought he was crazy. Well. So, what happens next? What happens next? Hey, if you believe you are misheard, you have the right to request a hearing. I do, I yes. do. With judicial, he's fucking judicial. Wow. Well. That was uncalled for, Robert. I warned her. Make sure you mention that in your report. <sighs> what you gonna do? Oh, look at your hand. And you get the hard drive. Work. You gonna do it? What? Where is she gonna jump? I know there's gonna be some, I don't know, some getaway thing or whatever. I don't know. I'm a little mad at that because I know they're going to find some way to explain it. They better have a good way of explaining that. That's <laughs> either I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset if they don't explain that very well. Oh, all right. It was a good episode. It was a, overall, it was a good episode. Got some more backstory. Start off in the very beginning. We get a chance to know her mom and understand her why. You know, taking the rabbit home, trying to invent things to help people for the greater good, medical technology. You know, learning how to operate on the rabbit so that that could be applied to 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 kids, so nobody has to suffer. You know, it's just I I, I liked that. It was a good uh, foundation, and then she was uh, oppressed to the point that she gave up, uh, and that shaped and molded uh, Juliet's family. So now she got the drive. She knows it has something to do with outside, and you know it has something to do with Sims wanting power. The big aha moment is seeing the mayor's reaction the new mayor bernard holland and him being a part of the whole thing and it makes sense you know he works in it he knows where all the information is somebody has to know the truth in order to keep the game plan going right you know if you're a founder and it's him it was a pretty it was a decent aha moment i didn't have the reaction that i thought i was gonna have you know i thought i guess in hindsight i should have been like oh my god i can't believe it was him but then they revealed it and i was like yeah I Kind of makes sense, you know? <laughs> Am I shocked? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, but I'm not like, you know, overly like blown away by it. But I, but I am shocked a little bit, shocked enough. We get a chance to have some empathy for Juliet's uh, father as well, because he's put in a tough position. You know, he's grieving. He's trying to keep his family together. And not everybody is a cover story of strength. And he wasn't. And as a result of that, you know, he lost his wife during her demise and blame gets shifted. But you know, he had a human moment and they they did a good job with it. That scene with him uh, and Juliet in the doctor's office was, was really well done. It was just, you know, from an acting standpoint, I really enjoyed it. I was I was really sucked in. The other thing that was kind of interesting is watching uh, Martha, or the woman down at the bottom that helps Juliet, that's kind of like her mother figure in a sense. With her struggling to go outside for the first time, maybe not the first time, but in a very long time, because I think she has uh, what is some people call it, agoraphobia, the fear of going outside. I mean, there may be something else to it. This is what I'm assuming. I'm assuming it's agoraphobia. But here's the thing that I think is going to be interesting to see what the next big move is going to come from. And I think it's going to come from Juliet's deputy. I think it's going to come from, from Paul Billings. Because two things, when he's trying to uphold and do the right thing, B, he's two a two and then one and then the b anyways one two <laughs> he's actually breaking the law himself because he has uh, a disorder that should disqualify him from being in his position so he's kind of already a rebel in that in that sense but he's doing it for the greater good of saving his family well you could kind of like make the same argument for for julia's mom you know she's breaking these laws for the greater good of, of human beings by making these magnifying devices and the pressure is going to finally get to him where he's going to have to make a decision. And that's probably, to me, what's going to determine what's going to happen with Juliet. Because right now, he is the person that's going to move into the, the sheriff's spot, uh, according to Sims and according to, to Holland. And I don't think, I think Sims is realizing that he doesn't have the control over him 
over Billings as he thought he did. Uh, he tested it out a little bit when um, he was testing uh, some of the smaller deputies and was like, "Yo, let me get your let me get your walkie-talkie." And they're like, you know, they don't get me wrong, they their heart went out to him, and I'm sure they were nervous and scared because you know their job is on the line. But they stuck through it. <laughs> it's like nah, that moment when he was like, "Let me get you walkie," and the other two sheriffs standing shoulder to shoulder was like, "Nah, don't do that, dog. Don't don't do that." <laughs> yeah, I felt that. <laughs> yeah, hey, doing the right thing is is difficult, and it's even more difficult when you do it around people that you know whose opinion you kind of care about. And I'm sure. Uh, that had a lot to weigh in on it. Let me see what else is there that was that was a little bit interesting. Oh yeah, the guy that's upstairs that I don't trust, the star, the stargazer. I feel like I should be trying to trust him because Julia is trying to recruit him. He seems to be one of the smarter cookies in the in the silo. You know, I think it's like as far as intelligence goes, he may be on top. Of course, uh, Holland because they're the science behind it. As far as like intelligence regarding like the tinkering of the technology and the use of the relics, and of course Walker's on that list as well. So either Walker needs to get a hold of that hard drive. Or the mystery guy, I always forget his name. Oh my gosh, but you know what I'm talking about, the stargazer. Uh, he needs to get it together uh, so they can figure out and either A, <laughs> expose the the truth to, to save Juliet, or that's it, actually, just that. You know, we need somebody to come in there and save her because she's like, yo, help me. They's like, nah, you said you're going outside. <laughs> like, I heard it, you heard it? Yeah, 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 you're going outside. Take your butt outside. Oh, how's she gonna get out? She, she jumps, really? She's just gonna jump down in the middle of the silo. Oh, I just go. I know I'm gonna be disappointed. I hope I'm not disappointed. Anyways, hey, check in on the next episode to see if I'm disappointed or how they explain this one. All right, hey, let me know uh, what I got right, uh, what I got wrong, and always the phone one is uh, what I missed. Hey, thank you all so much. Y'all are tripping the comments, and I will see you in the comments and see you next episode. All right, take care.